Hi guys, it's the 14th of July 2024 and officially we are now in holiday for the coming six weeks and we'll be back mid-August somewhere. Now I thought I'd make one last video to make a summary of what Adaclix really is. The project started seven years ago, seven years already. And it all started with the idea to teach, basically to teach. The goal of Arclex is to be basically a free university. You don't have to pay for it. You don't get a diploma or a degree, but you learn so much. And in the end, the goal is that you surpass your teacher as always, but that you are self-reliant, that you can maintain a system based on Arch right? Anywhere, any system based on Arch is, you understand it. You, you know how it works. The pieces of the puzzle, they all fit together and you can change your puzzle. You can say, let's get rid of this particular thing you're looking at, which is chat WM and just go to Qtile. Let's go to awesome. Let's go to Xmonad, right? There are many, many desktops out there in the Linux world. It doesn't have to stay Windows or Mac. No we can have a complete different look and different feel. And it's everything you see, everything you can touch, you can change. Everything is a file sometimes they say in Linux, right? But mostly that's true. You can change any aspect and behavior of your desktop at some, to, uh, some point of uh, some level. So Arc Linux <coughs> isn't so much a distribution as it is a place to learn things about Linux. The point is that you we'd like you to become an expert in Linux. And I always say we happen to be an Arch because Arch has this great wiki. So if you type Arch wiki, that's the first things you need to remember. Two words is all you need to remember. And then you have an issue, printing, Bluetooth, whatever, right? And you just start typing and you say, how can I learn? And that's the thing, the Arch Wiki has so much information. And yes, I know in the beginning, it is quite technical. So we're here, Arcanix, all the websites, all the videos, 4,200 videos already on YouTube. We're here to explain a lot of things. At some point in time, and it only happened to me personally at far after three, four years, I got it right. I understood the operating system that I was working on completely being aware of every bit and piece and building ISOs and all that, right? I got it. It's that point you need to get to and you never leave Arch, right? Because you're so tuned into it. So anything that you have an issue with. And the same thing for this, um, let's do for an example, Arch, Wiki, Dell, I don't know, right? There are many people who have laptops. Personally, not a laptop guy, but look at this. There's a lot of information on here, specific things about hardware that you need to know, or drivers, or this or that, right? There's a lot of information on the Arch Wiki that can help you get things rolling like 100% drivers this drivers that do this do that right it's all here it's all online you just need to know that the information is available now you have also uh, one of the things we like you to do is think out of the box don't think in boxes if you're learning about plasma you can easily learn and watch videos about SUSE plasma right plasma is plasma anywhere XFCs, XFC, anywhere. So that's one of the things we'd like you to remember as well. That's keep your horizon, eh? keep your view, maximum view, left, right, before, up, down, you know what I mean. Not in boxes. Don't think I'll just watch a video article links. No, you can watch a video about anything as long as it's about uh, the topic you're looking for. That's one of the things. What else is important? So the learning is important. Thinking out of the box is important. There are 
there is information, right? Where is the information? So the where do I find stuff? We have several websites where you can find information and it's all combined into websites that have the same common goal, right? Information, info, information. We have three ISOs these days, three ISOs. That's it, information. We have Arclex, which is going to share you with you knowledge about general topics. This is general stuff. I need to know something about the motherboard, how to get to burn an ISO. What do I do before installing? This is about installing. What do I after installing? What well, certainly you need to know and fast track, get to know stuff quickly. Now what, right? So this is where you start here. And then there's a lot of topics that might be of interest. So general stuff, I mean, bootloader is for anything. It doesn't matter which desktop you have. And that's the next thing. If you want to learn about desktops, the D stands for desktops. That means that we have some sort of gradual learning path. If you click on this thing, you get the information of what we think would be a good idea, but you just be your, yourself and you, you figure it out what you need to know when you need to know it. But it's interesting to start first with desktops, general desktops like these names here, and then learn maybe about the one you're looking at, ChatWM, Tiling Window Managers, right? So it's a gradual learning phase. And here are our phases, start with XFCE, then maybe take another desktop, play around with it, then maybe a Tiling Window Manager, who knows, a desktop, things not many people have heard of, open box being maybe a well, few others that you may know. And there's also willing things. But the point is when you go through all these phases, you learn more and more about Arch and that's the solid basis, right? Of so many distributions and DevOS, Garuda, Big Linux, Archcraft. I mean, the list goes on. Crystal Linux being the last one, maybe you've seen the video, right? So. We're here to teach you Arch, and we happen to have an ISO. But if the ISO from Arclinks doesn't work, use something else, right? Use something else. There are on our website 16 ways to install Arch. 16, and three of them is an Arclinks ISO. There's a Carly ISO, a Riser ISO, ALCI the Archlinks ISO with, well, basically, let's go type some commands. So it's kind of technical. And the Arch install, right? Which is more a script, which is, I think, maybe doable. So besides these 16, there are all the others I mentioned, right? There is also Manjaro, don't forget that one. And so many other based on Arch. And each of them have their own specific way of doing things. And that's the fun in the learning, because that's basically the most important goal. We're here to teach you stuff, right? So here is a list. Hmm, I'll show that Crystal Linux here. Do it later after the video. So it's all Arch, and all of them are good, and learn at Arch Linux and apply them somewhere else. That's the idea. Okay, let's go back to the websites. If you wanna build ISOs at some point in time, you can say the ISO that I get, it does not include, I don't know, Google Chrome. It does not include Visual Studio. I would like to have that. No problem. It's all explained in building the ISO. So the B stands for learning phase five, build your own ISO. If I can build this thing, why can't you? Plus remove some things, plus add some things. You can even add 4,000 packages from the Celtics AWAR, right? Now, that doesn't make sense to install all 4,000 of them, right? Then pick them, hand pick them, say, that's the one I want, right? Phase later is let's start and teach you how to create ISOs, a customized Arch Linux ISO, which is the name Carly. And we've started years ago, right? You can binge watch all of them. 
and see what workflow I have and what issues you'll get and the future you'll get similar similar issues it doesn't matter I, I'm not explaining click this button click that button no I'm explaining how to solve things and telling what I'm doing in my brain what I'm thinking in my brain so you can next time around with an issue another issue right is going to happen to your system then you still know what to do and these days we're in Kali 12 so that one and only that one can be built this version all the others are way back when the packages were XYZ and now the packages are ABC I mean it won't work anymore because of six years have gone by so that's the Arch Linux ISO then there is the ALCI which is the Arch Linux Calamaris installer which means let's go pure Arch but don't like the black screen we don't like to type in the commands or the Arch install let's give me Calamaris right click 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 something graphical to install and that's also possible we teach you how you can build your own ALCI ISO so a different approach each time there's a different angle to it different idea so in the ALCI there's that and in the riser we're basically saying let's stop using Calamaris and use a script from Pico which is a developer the LS scripts the Arch Linux installation script which is an automated installation you just sit back go eat go for a walk you come back and it's installed right we create your own ISO that way so you can automatically say just put everything on there uh, everything I want and be done with it right it's super efficient and it's automated so these are all things to take control of your system and of course the forum questions telegram discord the general social media stuff but it's all basically getting to know Linux via a variety of ideas and what ifs that's typically a word of Eric what if we do this and what if we do that right we have lots of ideas and lots of creativity and people have lots of ideas I can build an ISO like that but I'll do this and this and that right a distro is nothing more than making your own decisions all the time how will I boot up how will I do this how will I do that and basically that's the reason why we get all these variations of distributions people saying I want GNOME to have be the desktop there that's it and on it goes right applications um, Bluetooth printing yes no Samba there yes no and lots of decisions to be made when creating a distro and that's what um, it stands for let's also not forget that we have a YouTube channel right so if you go to YouTube there are links of course in our website but YouTube add links and then see a number so these are reviews people talking about articles but when you see a number like this article x3580 then you're in the channel so that's an easy way to navigate to this channel and this is the video about the news the news changes the future plans so basically telling we have three isos now and we have the article plasma which uh, in the name it says uh, you want plasma right so if you want plasma article plasma is the iso plus the extra we can have hyperland and we can have wayfire because both of them are wayland desktops on that iso and then there's the arconet which is for the bulk of the people and the real experts go for arco pro maybe right because it's a lot of more work and a lot of more sherlock holmes as i always say a lot of figuring out how does everything work together what configs am i missing eh? and our connect is just the way it is uh, i mean yeah, just the way you want it the only thing you need to do is remove some things and add some things and that's why we explain that scripting matters our nemesis is certainly worth mentioning 
So what do you do after a clean installation of Arconet? Something like this. You create yourself a nice, beautiful, still not there, <laughs> GitHub, and we called it Arconet's Nemesis. So after each clean installation of Arconet, I will install Arconet's Nemesis, well, git clone this or zip this, and I run the current choices where I will first remove all kinds of things that I don't want on my own ISO, right? Remove this, remove that, but this is not a script just for Arconex. It's a script for Garuda, it's a script for Endeavor OS, it's a script for anything Arch based, and they're all in the personal folder where I say when you are on Garuda, then remove this, remove that, add this, add that. And now we're going to, we end with a punchline. Stay in control. That's basically Arconex. As you've heard, I can use anything Arch Linux based with the knowledge with 4,200 videos, right? And we're at number 4,231. And we've just made a playlist about DWM, ChatWM, Dusk, so C language. And um, with all the knowledge that's available, the point is be in control. That's the end goal. And we don't, well, we don't give support, obviously, for all of these guys, right? But we want you to be in control on anything Arch Linux based. Anything Arch Linux based. Whatever um, you choose that works, because that's another model that we say, use what works. If our 16 ways here do not work if none of those work to get your operating system on your system then there is more right use what works then get the knowledge from Arconex or other distributions other other um, youtubers right get the knowledge be in control that's all that matters in our eyes learn and be in control Voila, I think that uh, sums a little bit up what we do, what we are. We want you to get the cape, wear the cape and fly, be a Superman in Linux. All right, enjoy.